I missed a golden opportunity yesterday to not just call this the stripper knife and to make it out of white ash. I, I still don't know what the joke would have been for my white ash stripper knife. Today is May Timber 14th. We are making marble boards. Pretty cool, simple project that you can use up to three bits on, but today we're just using two. I am using some very ugly boards today to prove a point that I don't use walnut and very nice expensive wood for every single project. These are fence pickets that I picked off the side of the road. They were six foot long, cut them down to 36 inches. I'm just using one and a half pickets for this project because there are three different pieces of this project. We're gonna be putting these down on the CNC, screws, double-sided tape, the bits that we're gonna be using are our bowl bit as well as our groovy Jenny. We're actually not doing any kind of profiling passes with this because we're just gonna be using the miter saw which will cut our time down in half. If you end up picking up these files, the profile vectors of course will be included. I'm not sure why it just now sank in, but obviously since I'm not doing profiling passes, I don't need the double-sided tape. You could just use screws or clamps or however you affix your projects to your CNC bed. Might have mounted that uh, controller in the wrong place. <laughs> Might be changing that up. Oh, that's funny. The kind of stuff you don't think about <laughs> until it happens. You know how yesterday I was like, oh, I gotta go buy marbles for tomorrow's project? Well, my dumb butt just didn't do it. So now I've gotta go do that to prove to y'all that a marble rolls in there. Yeah. Guys, you're never gonna believe this. That squirrel, I don't know if you can even see anything. I just, in a huff, I was walking back to the wood shop. Look, it's still moving around. That squirrel just took the apple and it was crawling up the tree. And I scared it, so it dropped the apple. <laughs> I had even put up a game cam. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. There it is. I had even put up a game cam so that I could catch the squirrel. Uh, I thought it was a deer. I didn't think a squirrel was, was gonna crawl up that high with an apple, but man, that thing just, it just went all the way up that tree. Sorry for the, for the non-tripod shot, but uh, <laughs> that all happened so quickly. Wow. $5.82 I just spent just so that I could show you this. Is it worth it? Oh, yeah, marbles everywhere. I made this file so that it can be used just with any old fence board. These are three quarter inches thick, and I use my bowl bit to go down half of an inch. I probably should have just done about a quarter of an inch, but half of an inch makes sure that they're nice and seated in there. It took a little bit under 15 minutes to cut out all of this. That's with the bowl bit as well as the V bit. My marbles also came with one ginormous mega marble, which doesn't work as well. This just has one, two, three, A, B, C, so that at the bottom of your marble boards, you can have this to store your marbles. These fence pickets are really just meant to be like propped up on some books inside your house, and it's just a fun little game that you can play with kids. Obviously, if you're playing with kids, make sure that they're not of the age where they just want to put the marbles in their mouth. If your kid's too young, like my child is definitely too young to be able to play with marbles, uh, you know, wait till they're a little bit older, but this is a fun little game. The three right here are meant to be like a little racetrack. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. No! 
so that you can have like three different colors and be like, who's gonna win? Yeah. Uh, and then this one obviously is just the single, a little bit more crazy. And then down there they can just organize the different colors, marbles, stuff like that. Very simple project, very easy to cut out. Like I said, this was trash fence pickets that I picked up off the side of the road. Uh, if I were selling this, I would definitely sell them together with a pack of marbles. Like I just said, I spent $5.82 on marbles, which I believe you can get for a ton cheaper off of Amazon or if you buy them bulk and then make your own little box and package all these together. At the market, I would charge anywhere from $20 to $30. I think at that price point, somebody would easily pick this up. Now, something that you could do to jazz this up is add on some color on top of this. Just go ahead and have your fence pickets, but paint them a color before you carve into them. And that'll jazz it up a whole lot. It'll, they can obviously tell that it's made out of solid wood, which is a pretty cool thing for kids' toys. Let's see if the big one fits on this one. No, no it doesn't. Quick little easy project. I think it's pretty cool. Hint for tomorrow's project. I know I've been like, I know this sounds stupid, but I'm excited about all the projects. But this one, I completely scrapped a project on the list because I wanted this one to fit in. Uh, and I'm very excited about it. The hint is Little Balance Man. It's gonna be a good one. Y'all check out the supporters of Make Timber. They're awesome. Links are down in the description below. We still have two more of them that we are announcing their giveaways. Thank y'all very much for stopping by the woodshop today and I hope to see y'all tomorrow.